F-17 Fashions, the best in fashions just for you. It isn't good. It isn't pretty. It isn't natural. It's news from the boonies. Recently elected state treasurer Don Rocky promised to record every last dime she received in the government's ledgers. She did just that when she deposited a dime given to her by a young man who's watching the Nebraska Days Parade at North Platte. Rocky said the young man approached her during the parade and said since she was the state treasurer, she should have some extra money. Then he handed her his dime. I was not able to get the young man's name. It happened too fast, Rocky said. But I did tell him I would deposit it in the state's account, which I did today. The donation made my day. In Albany, Oregon, three ministers praised the Lord by getting a little closer to him. Literally, in a parachute jump to celebrate the completion of their new church. The Reverend Karen Bull said, I had just been asking the Lord to show me something I could do outside the church. I never thought this would be it. Naturally, they prayed before boarding the plane. Lord, you said in Isaiah that our spirits could soar like eagles. But just to make sure nothing else did, the Reverend Mike O'Neill admitted he was wearing special, very dependable undergarments in case the fear got the better of him. A patient, Andre L., sued a Montreal hospital recently because his buttocks had caught fire. He claimed that while undergoing surgery to remove growths, the sterilizing alcohol was ignited by a cauterizing instrument, causing second-degree burns. He told doctors that he'd been told he had a hot butt by several women friends. But this was ridiculous. Mercifully, we're all out of time. But be with us tomorrow when you'll hear... A foul affair, watch for the birdie, and red tag sale. All on... <laughs>